Hello Bethanians, welcome once again to Bethany Virtual Cafe. And this week we are going to feature another inspiring story and hopefully a story that uh, help us heal. Um, last Sunday, if you can remember, we narrated the story about Patsy Wilson and we were able to recognize her determination, her patience, her perseverance, and her will to accomplish her goals. Now, if you missed that uh, episode, you can always go back to it on Bethany Virtual Cafe. And uh, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. I greatly appreciate it so we could grow as one community of Bethany uh, Virtual Cafe. Now, uh, this uh, week, we're going to feature another inspiring story. This time, it is a story from a known uh, boxer in the name of George Foreman. I don't know if you know George Foreman, but he has a pretty interesting story to tell. George Foreman is a two-time former heavyweight boxing champion of the world. He is also an Olympic gold medalist, ordained Baptist minister, author, and entrepreneur. Foreman is a colorful character who is probably better known today for his George Foreman grill. When he won his second heavyweight world championship at the age of 45, he became the oldest man in the world to win the heavyweight title and it's quite a remarkable story. Hearing from this first part or the introduction of his life, we can learn at the following. First, he has a very beautiful life and a lucky life for that matter, uh, compared to probably a lot of us who may be as uh, struggling or are not lucky enough to be in his position. Number two, he is also a very accomplished man. Come to think of it, he is an Olympic gold medalist, which is not an easy feat. We all know that. Because to win a, an Olympic uh, medal is it was something that uh, you can only accomplish if you are really determined and you have put your soul uh, and a lot of things to obtain a medal. Uh, much more a gold medal. Number three, interestingly, he was also a Baptist minister. That means to say that he is also a spiritual person. And you can always recognize that because in his winnings, he would always associate and put God at the center, recognizing his intervention and providence uh, whenever he wins uh, a title. And that is something that, that we can also learn from George Foreman. That spiritual life, our relationship with God, plays a significant role in our accomplishments, in our successes, and in the way we live our life. And then finally, it is also noteworthy that at the age of 45 years old, he was still able to accomplish a title. That's why he was recognized as the oldest uh, boxer to have accomplished uh, a heavyweight title. Okay, so hearing his very wonderful life, we can see that George Foreman is a very lucky man. These accomplishments are not easy without uh, discipline, without commitment, without determination, and without a strong sense of faith. We have to consider a lot of factors that could help us, could give us more strength and determination in order to accomplish those goals. Because without these things or things that George Foreman had, it would be much difficult to accomplish whatever it is that we aim for in life. Whether it's in sports, whether it is in our family life, work life, or even uh, in our day-to-day -day, uh, living and purpose. In his book, God in My Corner, 
He tells about that second title. He says that when he started his comeback, he had to get rid of what he called some excess George. He was extremely overweight. In the nearly 10 years he had been out of boxing, he had ballooned from 220 to 315 pounds. And it wasn't muscle that he gained. To get back into an exercise regimen, he started with the basics running every day. He was so out of shape that he couldn't go far. At first, he couldn't even make it around the block, which was about a mile. He had to stop a few times to catch his breath, huffing and puffing. Just imagine a big fat guy, he writes, gasping for air, barely able to jog around the block, who claims that he will be the heavyweight champion of the world again. I look ridiculous to everyone who saw me. I'm sure they laughed as they peeked through their curtains early in the morning while I slowly shuffled past their houses. Only two people on this entire planet believed I could recapture the title, my wife and me. But he had to get his weight down. He would walk and run, walk and run. That is a wonderful line there. He had to get rid of what he called his excess George. So following from that statement and from that line, let us try to ask ourselves these questions. What are those excess George that we would like to get rid of materially speaking? For example, fats or flub, money, and necessary worldless things that we can live without, or spiritually speaking, for example, grudges, gossips, pride, anger, vices, etc. So may we be able to reflect on this? Of course, George Foreman was more focused on maintaining his physical stature, his healthy lifestyle, to prepare him to become the world champion once again. And maybe looking at the life of George Foreman, we can be able to highlight them, put them in a list and observe you know, in order that we may once again be uh, on track of our goals and aims in life. Second, what do we do to set a balance by cutting down on those wordless things and keep a healthier physical and spiritual lifestyle. So what do we do to set a balance? The great Aristotle would say, virtue stands in the middle, meaning that everything that is in excess is not good for us, physically, emotionally, or even spiritually speaking. There has to be a balance there has to be something in between that could help us keep a healthier lifestyle. And finally, who are those people in your own world who believes in you to recapture your accomplishments? For George Foreman, it is himself as well as his wife. But there are people around us, in our community, in our family, or in our workplace that we can always turn to, people who are supportive. And these people are very helpful to help us accomplish our goals because without the support of these people, it might be difficult for us to recapture, to become successful. And so let us always build a wonderful environment to set a Bethany, so to speak, so that uh, that Bethany and community would be a, a place, a safe place where we could uh, derive inspiration, we could derive uh, example, and we can also derive support. Finally, he was able to run the whole time without walking. 
then he began running longer distances and with the combination of a proper diet and regular exercise, the fat continued to melt away. He kept running for the next eight months until he finally got down to his fighting weight which is 229 pounds. The flab was fun to put on, he says, but hard to take off. So some of us know what he's talking about. However, he contends he wouldn't have won the championship title if he first hadn't gotten rid of that extra weight. One final question. What are you willing to do in order to get rid of your extra weight or baggage in life? Well, hearing from George Foreman's story, uh, we know uh, that he was able to determine the baggage that he has to give up, the baggage of his fats or his flub in order for him to become the champion that he used to be. And uh, he's done everything in his uh, capacity to do so with determination, with so much patience, and with so much uh, understanding and with so much faith in God. So may we be able to learn from George Foreman and may his story become more like a litmus paper, something that we could uh, use in order to help us recapture and maybe refocus ourselves to the path that we'd like to accomplish. To the path of success and happiness and peace. For our symbol this uh, week, it would be the boxing glove tattoo. One of the common tattoos that we see uh, from people who have tattoos could be the boxing globes. And it is not just because they are boxers, but it entails uh, several symbolism and also a wonderful meaning. And I'd like to quote one of the meanings that were highlighted by one of the tattoo maker in the name of uh, Joshua Schoenwald. And this is what he said. Another way to look at the boxing gloves tattoo is a representation of being a fighter. We don't only mean being a fighter in the physical sense, but in terms of battles in life. Many people have battles in life that don't involve attacking someone. They might be fighting depression or fighting a serious illness. The boxing gloves tattoo, meaning in these, represents the spirit of the person with this tattoo. You might get knocked down, but you will get back up and continue fighting. This is an admirable quality in a person and the boxing gloves tattoo is a great way to represent this idea. So there you see, George Foreman fights in order to win a boxing match, a heavyweight boxing match. But all of us do have our own personal battles in life. So may this symbol remind us not only of George Foreman, who is a boxer, or any boxers that we know of and we idolize, but may it also remind us of our own personal battles. That in this life, we go through tough times, we go through things, we battle against uh, our enemies in whatever forms they are. But uh, in this battle, let us always remember that we are not alone that we can win this battle. And just like George Foreman, he had with him his wife as well as God. For us, in our own personal battles, we can also win with enough commitment, determination, and with God by our side. So God bless us all, Bethanians. Until next time.